Hi everyone, this is Tony from Good Japan, Bad Japan. This is a Teaching English in Japan episode, so I've got to give you your item of the day. And that item is a Magic 8-Ball, which you can order online in Japan. So the reason that this is the item of the day is because it's also what I want to talk about. Because if you're looking for something interesting to bring to your schools to kind of get the kids talking, especially the younger groups, this is surprisingly a great tool. But before I talk about this, let me make sure it's working. Will I win the lottery this year? Oof. Will my viewers hit that like button? What? Himitsu na koi pito getto dekiru no? What? Hey, so now that now that uh, I've had my fun here, I thought I'd share an experience that I had with this eight ball. Uh, so for the most part, you know, you can try this out at your schools and maybe your kids will be interested. The challenge is that this is in English. The answers are in English for this eight ball. And uh, you'd have to know maybe some Japanese to help translate the the answers for them. So. I will say that out of the many schools that I had, I had one elementary school that actually loved this. So when I told them about it, uh, because Japan is a very superstitious country, so fortune telling is everywhere. Um, you know, people believe in certain superstitions. I mean, of course, this doesn't apply to everybody in the country, but there's a lot of superstition here. So I thought, you know, great tool. So I give it to these kids and I tell them how it works. And the group of kids that I had, I had two sixth grade girls and a handful of fifth graders, uh, boys and girls, and a handful of fourth graders. This is a very small school. There are probably 20 students total in this entire elementary school. So I've got about half the students with me during recess with this ball and before I tell you I want you to put in the comments what you think the kind of questions elementary school students would ask when using this. So feel free to pause the video and in the comments what questions do you think a fourth, fifth, or sixth grader would ask a magic eight ball. All right so these kids would ask about marriage in the future. So you give it to one of the girls and one of the girls will shake it and she'll say, is this person going to marry this person? And it was always one classmate marrying another classmate. They turn it over and here's the great part. The great part is they would immediately show it to me. So the thing is, is if this was all in Japanese, these kids would just be playing among themselves. But because this was in English, it made the students dependent on me to give them an answer. And I would give it to them in Japanese because they're not going to understand the English, but they just love the heck out of it. So I would tell them yes or no, or ask again later, or the future doesn't look good. And they just they couldn't get enough of it and so they made requests for me to bring this every time I went to their school. Now I will say you do have to be a little aware because these are kids and honestly I thought to myself there's no way something like this could go wrong and then one day one of those sixth grade girls shakes it and she goes is Ms. Tanaka going to die? <laughs> And immediately I grabbed it away from her and I said, okay, that's enough. So uh, Ms. Tanaka is just like me saying Mr. Smith. It's just a generic last name, not a real person's name. But uh, the moment you bring death into the picture, that's when you need to step in. So lastly, I will say that I did try this one time on a group of adults that I worked with at one of my elementary schools. So I just happened to catch a, a bunch of teachers in the teacher's room and it was a little bit of a lull. I think all the kids had gone home and I still had about 30 minutes to go. And I don't remember, 
how this ball got rolling, so to speak, but the teachers just one by one would shake this and ask questions like, am I going to be the greatest teacher ever? Uh, some of the teachers are like, will I ever get married or will I ever find happiness in this world? And so that was kind of a, a really nice bonding moment with the teachers. So just in conclusion, you can try this. Some students, some people are just not gonna care. Maybe they'll try it once and then forget about it. But if you, you, want, if you wanna try something different and see what happens, I highly recommend getting this Magic 8-Ball. So thank you very much for watching this video. Are my viewers gonna hit that like button? Are they going to subscribe? Are they going to ring that bell for future notifications? I don't even need to look. I know what you're gonna do. See you next time.